Rock icon Eddie Van Halen, gone and today profoundly remembered. Hi and welcome to Extra. I'm Billy Bush, smiling because he always was. And I remember being a 13-year-old kid, roller skating through the streets of New York, Van Halen wailing on my walk, man. Felt cool. Today, Eddie's family, friends, and fellow rock gods hit pause for a true legend. I will see you in our next life, my love. A heartbroken Valerie Bertinelli photographed in Los Angeles posted that message to Eddie. She was his first wife and the mother of his son, Wolfgang, who shared these pictures with his mom and dad and called Eddie, quote, the best father I could ever ask for. A source close to Extra tells us they were both in the room with Eddie when he passed. His current wife, Janie, who was also just photographed in LA, was reportedly with them too. The rock icon's anthems like Jump, and running with the devil helped cement his namesake band's place in the music world. I have to tell you personally, I'm devastated. And uh, only the good die young uh, seems to be the case. I talked with Kiss bassist Gene Simmons today. He produced Van Halen's first demo. When you think of the pantheon of the greatest guitar gods that we've known in rock and roll, where does Eddie sit? Well, clearly, you'd have a... Uh, left and right hand side of God. One side would be Hendrix and the other side would certainly be Eddie Van Halen, without doubt. I ran into Eddie after he contracted cancer and he walked over, hey, how you doing? And I didn't know how to bring up the disease. You know, are you feeling okay, is cancer? And he just uh, went right into it and said, yeah, yeah, hey man, I've got cancer. Uh, you know, I was taken aback, I didn't know what to say. and. I was gonna ask him how he's feeling. And, and before I could do that, he said, hey man, check this out. And he opened his mouth and showed me the effects of cancer on the upper palate. I, I was speechless. And before anything could happen, he, so help me God, just kind of shrugged and he goes, hey, hey man, what are you gonna do? Hey, see you around. And he, just matter of fact, enjoyed life. Every once in a while, I uh, get into this, you know, sad place with Eddie and all I keep thinking about is that amazing smile, what an amazing man. And just hours after Eddie passed, Idol judges Luke Bryan and Lionel Richie shared their memories with Terry. Such sad news today. Very sad, very sad. I mean, I remember my parents walking in and me listening to Van Halen and it was, you know, I, uh, my parents were like, you're not allowed to listen to that music. He was a phenomenon. You have to understand, it's ridiculous his ability to play. Uh, we're going to miss it. Now, more tributes are pouring in. Valerie wrote on Instagram she was grateful to hold Eddie in his last moments. The two were married in 1981. They divorced in 2007, but remained very good friends during his long health battle. Eddie was first diagnosed with tongue cancer in 2000, which later spread to his throat. In 2015, Eddie told Billboard magazine he believed holding brass and copper picks in his tongue caused the cancer. People Magazine reports it had spread to, quote, all his organs. Like Farrah Fawcett, he'd traveled to Germany for experimental treatments to battle the disease. Our Insta MD, Dr. Dorian, joins me right now. He did not treat Eddie, but Eddie had an interesting theory. He thought that the guitar picks may have caused the cancer. You make a connection there? Unfortunately, I don't believe that is true. It's the smoking and the alcohol that is much more likely to cause the cancer. He definitely did give a great fight, and, you know, I commend him for that. Today, fans are paying tribute all across Los Angeles, remembering a rock legend. But Lenny Kravitz said it best, heaven will be electric tonight. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.